Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Eddie Hill. I have some sad news to say to all my fans. If you love those Your Toy Boxes, I just found out the site where I got them from. Stop selling them. Stop having them. Oh, it was a shame to lose them. But I am making up for it with some random 12-foot figures plus Star Wars mask review today. So, yeah, I really am sorry for all my fans. You were hoping for that with all your heart. I have disappointment for you. Sorry, I wish it could have been different. Alright, and just because... I'm going to throw in this other 12-foot figure from Disney's Incredibles. We have Mr. Incredible. If I can get him to stand... For that, we're doing 12 foot figures. Plus a few others. We got some little guys I'm going to do from Disney. I have to do all my current Disney stuff, too. Some little Disney stuff in this review. So, yeah. Remember this from the first Your Toy Box I got back in the day. Back in the day on this channel. So, so we finally got some. Woody and Buzz, the Toy Story fellas together, which is pretty good. And we got Zerg, the evil Emperor Zerg. <laughs> and for you Disney Incredibles fans, we got Mr. Incredible looking great whatsoever. So, yeah, worth it. That's the one basket of 12-inch figures. I said I was going to review that 12-inch figure. We got... Let's bring up Star-Lord. We got the 12-foot Guardians of the Galaxy. 12 inches tall. Star-Lord from Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. One of my favorite 12-foot figures. Definitely was a donation to my channel by my workplace, so it's going in my personal Marvel collection. I love Star Wars, he's cool. And we got my super battle droid from Star Wars Episode 2. One of my personal favorite 12 foot, 12 feet figures. 12, 12 inch, inch figures. I'm saying 12 feet when it's 12 inches. I am totally bad with this, so please do forgive my wrongness in this. We got my 12 foot clone, 12, 12 inch clone, original edition. This looks really good. Harrison, you can see how similar they are. The original. 12 inch clone, clone to the newer version. Doesn't have as much posability as this guy. So glad I have him. Doll version, not doll version. <laughs> so glad to have these guys. And Super Bowler looks like a doll version. We have my Transformers movie Bumblebee, which I do like this 12 inch figure. Looks really good. Oh, yeah, glad I have them. And finally, for all you Star Wars fans, we have my original Clone Trooper mask. Missing the piece on top of here for sure. Missing that. If you ever find the piece that goes right up here, you'd be doing me a great service and a great favor. Help me complete this. But it does more. Than what it seems. Get a little custom, make it seem like he had a special tattoo on his helmet. So custom design on his helmet. And it makes noise. I'm moving to attack position. And it makes noise. It's pretty cool. Sharp, Ooh, that's a pretty good voice. Heavy fire. Ooh, awesome. Clankers, get down. Pretty cool. Sound the alarm. Cool. 
awesome voice effects with this. Awesome voice effects. Cool. Cool. I like that phrase. Well, that's a cool phrase too. That's awesome. Cool. Cool voice effects on this. So that's what all there is to say for that mask. A pretty good Star Wars Episode 1 theme mask. Maybe missing a piece, but I dig it. And these are all little things I found over my collecting years as a toy collector. Clone Trooper mask, I don't know if you can find it in stores. The 12 foot figures are probably rarer nowadays. The older one, doll versions are rarer. These 12 figures, you can probably find them at some thrift store, maybe. Star Lord, you can probably maybe find him in, him in store, maybe. Mr. Incredible, maybe. Bumblebee, maybe. Because I don't know if you can find these figures, some of these figures now, these older ones nowadays. And that's all there is to say about this little haul. All the stuff I've had for years. And make sure to stay tuned for when I review War for Cybertron Siege Soundwave next week. Plus, we'll be starting on... Working on the knockoff Transformers Combiner Wars Aerial Bots. And then we'll have Bruticus to work on a week after that. Oh, wait, I won't be doing the Bruticus Spray on Review for another couple of weeks, but I will be doing Combining Menasaur for all you fans. That's all there is to say. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and. Rock out!